All right, let's make a start. Endless harvest. <laughs> Don't cry. Endless harvest. What does it mean? La mehdood vadiya. Yeah? Like you've got a wheat crop or anything and endless harvest. You can, for example, mango tree. Throughout the year, there are mangoes. You pick mangoes, next day more mangoes. Oh my God. You pick more mangoes. So what is that? Endless harvest. Harvest is what you harvest from the crops. So endless means unlimited harvest. Now we have a passage about harvesting something. All right. So we go back to questions. Ah. Taru. False, not given. Yeah, I was thinking that I should tell you a little bit more. Now we've got again. So true, false, not given may appear in any section of IELTS. Academic or gender training. One, two, three. It can be anywhere. Uh, but if it is in part one, it will be simple. If it is in part three, it is going to be a little more complex. But method is same. Formula is same. Question number 14. Inhabitants of... Aleutian Islands, underline inhabitants, Aleutian Islands, renamed their island Alaska. Now listen, listen, listen. Try to understand. If you don't understand the question, it's useless to go back and read the passage. The question is inhabitants. Inhabitants means people who live. Inhabit For example, inhabitants of Lahore renamed the city Lahore. Yeah, something like that. So if the people of Lahore renamed the city, th this is what they say, inhabitants of Aleutian Island renamed their island Aliska. If they renamed their island, answer is true. True. Okay, that's, that's a common mistake. For true, you write yes. And for false, you write no. Answer is true. If someone else renamed, not, not the inhabitants, someone else renamed, answer is false and if they don't tell us who renamed then it is not given now the clue word is uh, Aleutian renamed island Aliska so where will you go first paragraph and this is type A I'm reading it from uh, fourth line the island's native inhabitants called this land mass Aliska the great land, today we know it as Alaska. The great land. Alaska was great land. Today we know it as Alaska. Okay, let's go back. If it is not given, let's read again. Uh, uh, let's see. I'm reading it from the beginning. More than 200 years ago, Russian explorer and fur hunters landed on Aleutian Islands. A volcanic archipel uh, archipelag... Pelago in the North Pacific and learned of a land mass that lay farther to the north. Okay. Island's native inhabitants called this land mass Alaska. Now native inhabitants, they called it Alaska. The great land. Today we know it as Alaska. Now come back. Inhabitants of Aleutian Island renamed their island Alaska. They did not rename it. They actually named it Alaska. We renamed it and now we call it Alaska in United States of America. So answer is false. Now try to understand. They did not rename it. They named it. Rename means to change the name. For example, you know, when a baby is born, you, you actually give a name uh, to the baby. We call it naming the baby. In the future, you don't like the name, you rename the baby. Okay, now they say inhabitants of Aleutian Island renamed their island. They did not rename. They named it. They named it. And then renaming thing was, they say great land. Today, we know it as Alaska. So they named it. They did not rename it. That is why answer is False. Good. Try to understand? Yeah? They named it. They named it. They didn't give it. They didn't give it. Okay? Yeah. Now, all right. Alaska's fisheries. Fisheries means the fishing department. The whole department is called fisheries. Alaska fisheries are owned by some of the world's largest companies. It means the largest companies of the world 
दे आर दी ऑनर ऑफ अलास्का फिशरीज यू अंडरस्टैंड इट्स पैसिव वॉइस अलास्का फिशरीज आर ओन्ड आर ओन मीन्स लाइक द ऑनर आर सम ऑफ द वर्ल्ड लार्जेस्ट कंपनी सो इफ अलास्का फिशरीज आर ओन्ड बाय वर्ल्ड लार्जेस्ट कंपनीज आंसर इज ट्रू If they are owned by small companies or some other companies, answer is false. And if they don't tell us about the owning or Alaska fisheries are owned by who or what, then answer is not given. Now, clue word is Alaska fisheries and world's largest companies. And encircle the word owned, O W N E D, owned. Found it. Alaska and second paragraph. we've got alaska fisheries and all that now please follow me second last sentence of second paragraph taking advantage of this rich bounty alaska's commercial fisheries have developed into some of the largest in the world try to understand very very confusing question read this point again Alaska's commercial fisheries have developed into some of the largest in the world. Now they themselves have become the largest companies. They are not owned by any large companies. They themselves have become the largest companies. Do you understand? Yeah. I mean, एक चीज है like someone has a large company. एक they themselves become a large company. Now, listen carefully. what will be the answer because they have not they, wait a minute wait a second technical point i'm reading again taking advantage of this rich bounty alaska's commercial fisheries have developed into some of the largest in the world it means alaska's fisheries are the largest ones now have they told us who is the owner of these fisheries what will be the answer well done it's not given because owner you know come back to the question look at the question Alaska fisheries are owned by some of world's largest company they said fisheries became world's largest companies now who is the owner of that largest company they didn't tell that is why answer is not given theek hai malik kaun hai we don't know that's why it is not given focus the word owned alaska's fisheries are owned by some owned means someone has someone is the owner of that but in the passage they didn't tell us about the owner life in alaska is dependent on salmon what is salmon it's a fish so life in alaska is dependent on salmon look for salmon okay it's the third paragraph and third line we read from third line and always read from the full stop the true cultural heart found it yes. everyone yes. okay look around your neighbors as well if they are on the right place uh, the true cultural heart and soul of alaska's fisheries however is salmon salmon notes writer susan and all that the true cultural heart and soul of alaska fisheries is salmon heart and soul is salmon heart and soul means they depend on salmon like if you if you say this to someone romantic sentence you are my heart and soul what does it mean i depend on you that's why the singers have songs maine dil tere kadmon mein rakh diya tu football khel le okay so <laughs> you understand that heart and soul salmon is heart and soul and here they use the word it's basically they depend on salmon clear ha huh? of course true Why not? Abhi bhi doubt hai. Question number seventeen. Ninety percent of all Pacific salmon caught are soki or pink salmon. Now underline ninety percent. Underline all Pacific salmon, and salmon is a fish. Soki or pink salmon. Now what is soki and pink salmon? These are two. types of fish now if 90% are soki and pink salmon answer is true if they are 80% or less than 90 more than 90 or 100 then answer is 
false and if they don't tell us that soki or pink salmon they are 90% then it is not given now the clue word 90% soki pink and all that found it 90% you found okay I'm reading this where you see 90% one line above all five species found it okay now all five species of specific salmon chinook or king chum or dog coho or silver what are they types of salmon silver soaky or red and pink or humpback spawn in alaskan alaskan waters and 90 percent of all pacific salmon commercially caught now listen can you see comma can you see and it means that sentence completed there now we read from here and 90 percent of all pacific salmon commercially caught in north america are produced there now please tell me one thing have they mentioned that 90 percent of pacific salmon is soaky or pink no what will be the answer not given not given don't just be uh, just don't see the thing 90 percent is mentioned so it's given try to understand the point they say 90 percent of all pacific salmon commercially caught in north america come back to question 90 percent of all pacific salmon caught are soaky or pink salmon now soaky or pink with 90 percent they have not mentioned anything they have only said 90 percent of salmon now that can be any type of salmon but they did not give specific information about soaky or pink salmon that is why it is not given okay yeah yeah, if tari ke baad na, aaj do pakode extra khane, phir samaj aayengi ye chiz Yeah? Okay. The thing is only this. Now, let's go on. Question number 18. <laughs> more than 320,000 tons. Underline 320,000 and more than. Whenever they use more than in the passage, if it is less than, answer is false. More than 320,000 tons of salmon were caught in alaska in 2000 2000 means year so if in 2000 they caught more than 320000 tons any number bigger than 320000 then answer is true if it is less than that or if the year is not 2000 the year is 2005 answer is false and if they don't tell us then it is not given now look for 320000 and 2000 okay okay it's third paragraph third paragraph third last line during 2000 everyone there during 2000 third paragraph and it's the second last line during 2000 commercial catches of pacific salmon in alaska exceeded 320,000 tons exceeded yeah 320,000 tons with an X vessel value of this and that, so answer is not given. Come on. Excellent. I just wanted to check. <laughs> well done, answer is true. Okay, jhatka diya thoda sa. Idni putti reading bhi nahi hai. Okay, it's not that ko jo sar ne keh diya, sar ne not given, kai not given. So you understand this? They have used the word, what is the word for more than? Exceeded and more than. Answer is? true and have you noticed one sentence in the question one sentence in the passage question number 19 between 1940 and 1959 there was a sharp decrease now underline 1940 and 1959 sharp decrease sharp decrease means the number fell yes sharp decrease in Alaska's salmon population okay sharp decrease means they declined can you see 1940 and 1959 okay i'm reading it from first line after full stop catches have not always been so healthy between 1940 and 1959 overfishing led to crashes in salmon population crashes what does it mean led to crashes in yeah crashes means sharp decrease answer is yeah <laughs> 
जस्ट ऐसे देखते ना जैसे कोई फरमाइश करके बच्ची अम्मी को नहीं देखते कि अब अम्मी का रिएक्शन क्या होता है ओके या यू लुक एट मी ट्रू एब्सोल्युटली इट्स ट्रू क्वेश्चन नंबर 20 ड्यूरिंग 1990s अंडरलाइन 1990s एवरेज नंबर ऑफ सालमन कॉट ईच ईयर वाज 100 मिलियन ड्यूरिंग 1990s यू नो सम पीपल लाइक फिश वेरी मच हाउ मेनी ऑफ यू लाइक फिश यमी गुड so during 1990s average number of salmon caught each year was 100 million so if it is less or more than 100 million answer will be false so can you see it there for 1990s so 1990s all right last paragraph okay i'm reading this last paragraph and uh, let's read it from second last line at that time <coughs> it's not last line fourth paragraph title page <coughs> yeah it's there last at the end <coughs> next page okay that's good now we are here uh, this is uh, second page i'm reading from the last line please follow me at that time a uh, state wide harvest totally around totaled around 25 million salmon over the next few decades average catches steadily increased as a result of their policy of sustainable next page next page management until during 1990s annual harvests were well in excess of 100 million and on several occasions over 200 million fish now what's the question during the 1990s average number of salmon caught each year was 100 was 100 means exactly 100 and there they said in excess of 100 million in excess means more than more than and then they said and on several occasions over 200 million fish so answer is false well done yes exactly now i tell you if you read this here annual harvests now annual harvest means average number annual harvest were all in excess 100 million and on several occasions this 